Why is the universe ripping itself apart? A new study shows dark energy may be more complicated than we thought. Bard Tucker, professor on The Conversation, reports this. What is the universe made of? This question has driven astronomers for hundreds of years. For the past quarter of a century, scientists have believed normal stuff like atoms and molecules that make up you and me and Earth and everything else we can see only accounts for 5% of the universe. Another 25% is dark matter, an unknown substance that we can't see, but which we can detect through how it affects normal matter via gravity. The remaining 70% of the cosmos is make, made of dark energy, discovered in 1998. This is an unknown form of energy believed to be making the universe expand at an ever-increasing rate. In a new study soon to be published in the Astronomical Journal, we've measured the properties of dark matter in more detail than ever before. Our results show it may be a hypothetical vacuum energy first pro proposed by Einstein, or it may be something stranger and more complicated that uh, changes over time. What is dark energy? When Einstein developed the general theory of re relativity over a century ago, he realized his, his equation showed the universe should either be expanding or shrinking. This seemed wrong to him, so he added a cosmological constant, a kind of energy inherent in empty space, to balance out the force of gravity and keep the universe static. Later, when the work of Henrietta Swan Leavitt and Edin Hubble showed how the universe was indeed expanding, Einstein did away with the cosmological constant, calling it his greatest mistake. However, in 1998, two teams of researchers found the expansion of the universe was actually accelerating. How is that happening? This implies that something quite similar to Einstein's cosmological constant may exist after all, something we now call dark energy. Since those initial measurements, we've been using supernova and other probes to measure the nature of dark energy. Until now, these results have shown the density of dark energy in the universe appears to be constant. This means that strength of dark energy remains the same even as the universe grows. It does not seem to be spread more thinly as the universe gets bigger. We measure this with a number called W, Einstein's cosmological constant, in effect set W to minus 1, and earlier observations suggest that this was about right. Exploding stars as cosmic measuring sticks? How do we measure what is in the universe and how fast it's growing? We don't have enormous tape measures or giant scales, so instead we use standard candles, subjects in space whose brightness we know. Imagine it's night and you're standing on a long road with a few light poles. These poles all have the same light bulb, but the poles further away are fainter than the nearby ones. This is because light fades proportionally to distance. If we know the power of the bulb and can measure how bright the bulbs appear to be, we can calculate the distance to the light pole. For astronomers, a common cosmic light bulb is a kind of exploding star called a type 1a supernova. These are white dwarf stars which often suck in matter from a neighboring star and grow until they reach 1.44 times the mass of our sun, at which point they explode. By measuring how quickly the explosion fades, we can determine how bright it was and hence how far away from us. The Dark Energy Survey The Dark Energy Survey is the largest effort yet to measure dark energy. More than 400 scientists across multiple continents worked together for nearby a nearly a decade to repeatedly observe parts of the southern sky. Repeated observations let us look for changes like new exploding stars, the more often you observe, the better you can measure these changes, and the larger the area you search, the more supernova you can find. The first results indicating the existence of dark energy used only a couple of dozen supernova. The latest results from the Dark Energy Survey use around 1,500 exploding stars, giving much greater precision. Using a specially built camera installed on a 4-meter Blanco telescope 
at the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile, the survey found thousands of supernova of different types. To work out which ones were type 1A, the kind we need for measuring distances, we used the 4-meter Anglo-Australian telescope at Siding Spring Observatory in New South Wales in Australia. The Anglo-Australian telescope took measurements which broke up the colors of light from the supernova, and this lets us see a fingerprint of the individual elements in the explosion. Type 1A supernova have some unique features, like containing no hydrogen and silicon, and with enough supernova, machine learning allowed us to classify thousands of supernova efficiently. More complicated than the cosmological constant. Finally, after more than a decade of work and studying around 1,500 type 1A supernova, the Dark Energy Survey has produced a new best measurement of W. We found W equals to minus 0 0.80 plus or minus 0 0.18. So that's somewhere between a minus 0 0.62 and minus 0 0.98. This is a very interesting result. It's close to minus 1, but not quite exactly there. To be the cosmological constant or the energy of empty space, it would need to be exactly minus 1. So where does this leave us? With the idea that more complex model of dark energy may be needed, perhaps one in which this mysterious energy has changed over the life of the universe. This is from Dark Energy Survey Cosmology Results, uh, information by uh, on uh, Astronomy Journal. This is from The Conversation by Brad Tucker. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. We know that, of course, even since antiquity, the ancient Greek astronomers believed that the universe was not empty space, that it was an electric universe, and it was filled with what they called ether. And this is exactly what Nikola Tesla believed. So they have it. They uh, today's astronomers really have a lot of things to uh, discover still. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.